draw robin's eggs in a nest now often but what i have is a real egg and if you have a real egg go ahead and get one and yes right before i filmed this i dropped one on the floor and i took some pictures of it and i'm going to use those pictures to show you how an artist can make a happy mistake into a happy accident towards the end but at any rate i did have three eggs and i only have two we are drawing three I want you to get three eggs and find a bowl that those three eggs set in because that will let you know the scale for your bowl is going to make the perfect template for our for our nest. And if you had the Michaels kit, um, it came with an HB and a 2B pencil, which I'm going to be using. The 2B is softer and that's going to blend easy and have darker tones. The HB is just a good basic drawing. But you can actually successfully do all of this in just using your 2HB. A normal pencil will work just fine. So let's go ahead and get started. Get your bowl. So pause the video, get your bowl and get your three eggs. And what I want you to do is really observe and look at your egg and the shape of the egg. We're going to have to draw it so it's better to observe it now. So once you have your bowl, go ahead and I'm just using basic sketching paper, the pad that I had recommended. As a matter of fact, I'll flip it open just so you can see it. What pad I'm using? I'm using the Strathmore drawing paper. It's just really nice paper to work with. But like I said, anything is fine. And center your nest. And you need to sketch lightly. But take your bowl and trace it. And how are we going to draw the straw of a nest? Here's a reference picture in the upper right hand corner of what we're going to draw. So there's an actual picture. I'm using that as our reference just to get us started. Um, I am going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to decide where your eggs are. So to draw an egg, first just sketch a line the length of your egg and to maybe make this easier on you I'm kind of doing this life size so this egg is about if you look it's about two inches so if it helps you just go ahead and draw an actual two inch line that might help you and I'm going to angle these two inch lines where my eggs are actually going to go I'm just going to have my egg sitting in my nest in different directions the direction is up to you so this is representing my three eggs. They're two inches. I actually used a real egg and drew those. And now we are ready to go ahead and do the width. So I might as well go back. Now the width of this looks like about one and a half. So I can go ahead and find my middle so you might want to find your middle first so just mark them at the one in each one so this is two inches I'm putting a mark at my one inch and this is another two inch I'm putting at a one inch and then because the width is one and a half I'm then going to center my one and a half on my using so using my ruler I'm centering my one and a half so it's just one two three quarters on each side so I'm just going to keep rotating that and going to put that in really quick. Now you can, you don't need to do all these crazy measurements. You are more than welcome to just hand sketch an egg. It's just sometimes for beginning artists that can be hard to do. All right, so I have my setup here. I'm going to zoom in. Okay. All right, so now I'm ready to go ahead and just sketch that line across so that one and a half bar i'm going to go ahead and sketch that across this will keep my eggs more even especially if you're having a hard time now you're going to have a wide part of your egg and a narrow part to your egg and where that is is actually up to you where that wider part is but you're going to go ahead and sketch the narrow and i'm just going to go ahead and sketch an arch here and sketch this very lightly i'm going to sketch an arch here round that out and I'm making this like a thing of a chin and then I'm gonna just go ahead and with my chin sketch my egg shape 
And then, of course, I would go ahead and erase up the lines I don't need anymore. So there's one egg. And as soon as you're done with one egg, go ahead and erase the crossbars. We can go back and smooth that out later. And then do your other egg. Again, you can decide which part is the small part and which part is the wider. Just do an arch and an arch and kind of smooth it out. Take your time. Do a small tip. You can use your egg as your reference. This has to come down more of an angle. You're gonna overlap the egg you just did. Don't worry about that. So there's my second egg, and then I'm gonna do one last egg. Okay, so now I have my three eggs drawn in my basket by using that basic technique, okay? So I'm sure you needed to pause the bit video in order to do that. Um, now what you're going to do is, a, again, I'm racing all my crossbars. And just like our other videos, you would eventually lighten up my eggs. And then I'm just gonna take a minute and define my shapes here. So what you're going to do is you're gonna switch to the 2B pencil, or you're just gonna press a little bit like medium on this. And you're gonna actually go ahead and color in the whole nest. I'm using the side of my pencil and I'm going around my egg shape. And you're doing this nice and soft and smooth and this is a medium value. And I'm using the same value pretty much on the whole entire circle. Now the reason why you're doing this and on the outside edge, it is a nest. So you're gonna actually kind of mess it up and kind of just keep angling it instead. And you can turn your paper as you do that. You know, and just keep these really loose because this is a nest. So of course the edges aren't going to be perfect like that. And then just shade it in. So you don't wanna keep that original circle. If you drew your circle light enough, then you probably don't even need to erase it. I was able just to shade on top of it. You can switch the directions of your shading. Because we're doing straw, the direction of your strokes isn't as important as the smoothness because we're gonna smooth it out anyway, so it won't really matter. All right, so I have a nice base here on my nest. Now, of course, there's a lot of different ways to do this. I'm kind of showing you perhaps the easiest way. So now what you're going to do is you're gonna grab a blender or your, a Kleenex if you have it, or even a Q-tip. I'm gonna use a blender, and it really doesn't matter what size blender you use or you know whatever. But you're gonna just go ahead and smooth it in. But as I'm smoothing it in, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that all in. And I'm not really too worried about the direction. I'm gonna go around my eggs kind of overlapping my outside line, to be honest. And I'll probably speed up this video or cut some of it out, because this is gonna take a while. But I'm just gonna kind of go ahead and smooth that out. And I can switch my directions of my stroke because I'm gonna eventually want it to look like the straw anyway. So I'm gonna actually kind of go back and forth. Again, you can do this with the Q-tip the same way. You can do it the same way. These blenders are very inexpensive though. You can pick them up anywhere. And on the ends, um, just take a Q-tip or the tip of your blender and just kind of mess it up. Draw angled lines. Don't let them curve. I'm just gonna draw angled lines. And I'm just gonna kind of let that fade out a little bit. And I'm crisscrossing them and just drawing different lines where I think my straw would be. Okay, once you've built up your base, you are ready to use my favorite, it's called the subtractive method. Now for this method, you're gonna want a nice um, straight edge to your um, eraser. A tip is if you have a mechanical pencil with a doll tip, I always use them twice, I'll flip it over and then it'll have a nice straight point and that would work out great. Um, the end of a newer edge of an eraser will work. And if you have a brand new pencil, that'll work. This is too dull probably, but you gotta work with what you have. 
Now you're just going to draw your straw with your eraser. This is fun. This is called subtractive method and you're just going to keep thinking of straw. Again, look at the reference picture in the upper right hand corner and you can kind of think of that. We're going to start in the middle. Now I am ignoring, I am just crisscrossing and thinking of straw. I'm ignoring my eggs. I'm going through my eggs. Do not go around your eggs because it won't look realistic that flat, that platform. I'm kind of sticking to the bottom. So like say this is the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and just keep building up the bottom. This is my outside layer. I'm going to let this straw be just a little bit wider than in the middle. And that variation is just going to be great. So it'll just give me that perspective that this part is sinking in and this is coming out. So this is just so fun and so easy. So there you go. Okay, so I build up the middle. I'm going to switch to a little bit thicker um, eraser. You could switch pencils or just, you know, press a little bit harder. And I am going to go ahead and just do my outside edge. And just look at the reference picture. Trying to do mine from memory because mine went off the screen. That's okay. I think I can wing it. And again, you're just kind of letting it fade off. And already it looks so cool because you are using um, perspective. Okay. So when you're shading your egg, I think my video stopped videotaping. So you're going to take your HB and after you drew that little loop, you're just going to add a little bit of a cast shadow there. So do it really nice and soft. Take your Kleenex, wrap it around, and then just bring it in like this and then bring it down. Be very, And then as it gets dirty, you're going to grab a cleaner edge because this is an egg and it's really white. We're just doing the shadows so you don't want to get it too dirty but you need to keep it curved here. So you really need to keep that curved and bring it down nice and soft. And that's really all you need to do. You can go back and add your highlight if you need to, but that's really all you need to do for your egg, okay? And then just clean it up. So down here, I'm just gonna take my eraser and clean up the base you know, cause it's gonna get dirty. And down here, I kind of want a little bit of reflected light. And that's it. That's really all you need to do for your egg. You know, just keep it simple and fun. You know, something you haven't done before. And again, if you need to go back in with your cast shadow, you can do that. So I might go ahead and go in, redefine my egg a little bit. Add my shadow. Keep your shadow nice and soft. Don't allow your egg to be outlined. Shade that outline in. And then I'm going to blend that in. I'll use a Q-tip for those of you that have a Q-tip. You just take your Q-tip and blend that in, that cast shadow. So the core shadow is this dark part right here, and this is going to be my cast shadow. You also want some pretty mid-tones as you go. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other two eggs and finish it up, but I'm gonna zoom out so you can see how you are starting to make a really easy, nice sketch of eggs sitting in a basket. And that's it. So give it a try, finish up your other two, and then I'll show you my finished um, product. Okay, artist, that's it. So what I did was just a few extra touches that I'll just briefly walk you through. 
But when you're done shading your eggs, what's good is to add some overlap. So I deepened my middle of my nest and then I added more on the outside edge. I did that by drawing some with my mechanical pencil first, like just drew lines, you know, in different directions. Then I took my blender and I actually blended those lines in and went over them like this. And then I also then took my eraser and it really looks cool and lets your eggs sit into your nest if you have some straw overlapping the top. So I just decided to bring in this line, I brought this line, this line, and I just erased them. So you can just erase those lines and they'll look like straw overlapping the top of the nest. And then just take a dirty blender or a Q-tip and just kind of go over just one side of them just to give them a little bit of that value. And really that's it you know you can just keep working and playing with your shadows and another oh another thing I did is I went around like my edges here all the way around this edge and I kind of went in and I really deepened um, where the edge of the top of my nest and the bottom of my nest was like right in here like I went around and I kind of shaded in a little bit more just to make that look more a little bit deeper a little bit more contrast and that's it. If you have any questions, please um, just comment below and I'll try to get back to you if anything was confusing or if you want something a little bit more in depth, just let me know. But that's it on making a bird's nest. So next week, we will briefly talk a little bit more about 3D shapes and we are going to dive in on how to draw a cardboard box. And I might even have an extra bonus art project tied in with the cardboard box. All right, have a great week. Have fun arting. Um, enjoy the weather. And I really hope you are enjoying breaking into your art supplies. And have a great day.